a lot of these systems, you know, you, 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 somebody tells you work on your systems and processes. Well, what does that mean? What does that actually mean? Exactly. You know, it, it feels like, am I going to open up a blank document and just stare at it and think I just know what I'm supposed to write? Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 398th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, question for you. Do you struggle with putting together your, your training manuals and processes <laughs> and your SOPs? Like, what, what does SOP even what stand does for? What does SOP even mean? I don't <laughs> right. know. <laughs> right. Hey, if, if you struggle with that, we have the solution for you. In fact, we have a very cool power tool for you. Mm -hmm. All right. We have a special guest, Mr. Chris. Was it Chris Ronzio? Ronzio. Um, all yep. right. Is <laughs> founder and CEO of Trainual. Mm -hmm. All right. Trainual. All right, which is a really cool product. Yes. All right. Can't helps you yeah, help helps with systems and processes. For All right. Mm -hmm. So so let's he's waiting in the groom the green room here. Yep. All right. Let's get at it here. Welcome, Mr. Chris Ronzio. Mr. Chris Ronzio. Welcome. I've been looking forward so forward to having you here on the program. And, and so so happy to have you here, man. Oh, me too. Thank you for having me on. I'm excited. Let's get into it. All let's right. Do it. Well, let's okay. do it. Yeah. Well, I love this as we as I said in the in the intro. I just I just love I love Tranual. Mm -hmm. Okay, which we want to hear more about. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I've really been looking forward to to meeting this guy. Mm -hmm. I should tell you straightforward, Chris. I'm really looking forward to meeting you. So, in saying that, um, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself and where you come from? Yeah, sure. So first of all, for you to say that you love Trainual or that you love <laughs> systems and processes and all the hard parts of business, I think yep. says a lot about you guys. So I like <laughs> you both already. <laughs> uh, Trainual came as a result of of me running my own companies for 20 years. And so I started, you know, in, in high school with a video production company. So I was filming youth sporting events in Massachusetts where I grew up. And when I went to college, I couldn't film the events anymore. I had to hire crews to start filming them for me. And I realized little by little, if I take things off my plate, if I outsource the editing to some editors, and I outsource the camera work to some camera operators, I could focus more and more on the business. And so that's what I did. Year over year, I just oh. kept bringing on more team members. I opened an office in Boston. I opened an office in LA after college. I opened an office in Ohio. And before long, I had hundreds and hundreds of videographers and sales reps and editors, production managers all around the US filming events in all 50 states. And so cool. this business was was one that I really just I grew up in and I didn't realize I was doing systems and processes. But to me, it was how do I make my customers think that we're the same business with the same people, we're the same brand in every single venue anywhere in the country. Yeah. And that just came down to process and SOPs and training. Uh, so that's that's what I did. I grew up kind of just living it seeped and steeped in this. And, uh, and after 13 years, I sold that business. And so next business was a, a, a consulting company. I helped other businesses build out their operations manuals and their roles and responsibilities and their process maps. And I was really just a geek about this stuff. And, and after a couple of years, I thought I need to have some proprietary system, like some, something I own if I want to build the asset of my company. And that's where the idea for Trainual came from. So Trainual the name is just like a training manual mashed together. And it's a software platform where a company puts all of their knowledge, all their proprietary information, who does what, how we do things in this business, whether you're onboarding new people, whether you're scaling to more locations or more trucks, or whether someday you want to sell the company. Exactly. Well, that's what I love about right. it. Well, I, I must, I have to admit, I, I don't love the actual <laughs> you know, putting the th stuff the together, processes. the processes and all that. <laughs> be that doesn't sound like fun <laughs> for me. You know, um, I love the product though. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so if the guys, you know, well, we see with a lot of our, our guys that, you know, watch, uh, you know, potty talk and that we, we have in the success Academy can relate, I think relate to me. Yeah, we're, not, we're not into that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. but they know right. it's necessary. Just but, like it is, knew. but it is necessary mm -hmm. to be able to scale and grow and, and to free ourselves from right. having to work in the business, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Now, it's um, like, I love, I love Australia, but I hate fly being on the plane for 16 hours. <laughs> right. know, it's like, right, right. it's like just part of the process. Nobody Can loves I teleport the there. Work. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I remember back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, back when we did plumbing and, you know, we had our plumbing company, right, you're right, our plumbing company. And, you know, we were, we were writing on ago. stone and all that kind of stuff. Right. Exactly. We actually created <laughs> manuals. The lovely Laura here is a manual queen. I mean, process she had queen. and process. Mm -hmm. right? Well, you had manuals for everything. I did. However, when you had, we made one little change 
In fact, you would get mad at me if I wanted to change something. We are not changing any process. It, it was a big event to go through everything <laughs> and make all the changes, you know. Right, because but, it, a, a page changed, right? If you added a whole section or whatever, then all the page numbers change. And you have to print them all out and then have to print them out for each employee, right? right to get them uh, all the things. Yeah. But I want to get yeah. into Tranual here because that's the beauty of a Tranual. It, it's easy for a guy like me who's really not that techie. Mm -hmm. And into that kind of a thing, but it also makes it so easy you know, as, you're, as things change, as we grow, right? Things are changing mm -hmm. and it, it's easy to make those changes, you know, across the board. Yes. So, yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead. So two things I would call out about that. You know, the, the first is that a lot of people when they're building a business, you know, they're, they're not in business because they love process or they love business or administration, you know, they're in business because they like doing the work. They like right making on. the customer happy, you know, and when we get into business, a lot of times we just don't know what are all the things that we need to do to make our companies more stable, more mature. And so a lot of these systems, you know, you, you, you somebody tells you work on your systems and processes. Well, what does that mean? What does that actually mean? Exactly. You know, it, it feels like, am I going to open up a blank document and just stare at it and think I just know what I'm supposed to write? And mm -hmm. so part of what we wanted to do with Trainual was give people more of like a worksheet approach, you know, where there's a, a place or a prompt or a question for everything. And so as you go through the system, you're like, okay, let me just pick from this list of policies and make my own handbook for my business. Or let me start with the templates of processes and figure out how do I do sales or how do I do billing or how do I do these things because we're prompting you for it. Or let me build out my org chart and my roles and responsibilities because there's a place to put it. You know, and and so what we want people to do is to to really have that mental checklist of, oh, okay, this is what systems and processes are. Let me go in and actually accomplish some things. So, so I think that's a, a key part to making progress. Oh, I love it. You know, we we have a saying here with the, the million dollar plumber. It ain't about plumbing. You know, we love, I, I'm not, I, I love the, the plumbing. And in fact, I, I was the best at it. And I, I still think I'm the best, even though I haven't turned a wrench for some years. <laughs> but, I can't play. but we love the plumbing, right? Right, guys? Okay. Um, but the business isn't about the plumbing. It's yeah. about these systems, SOPs, you know, and, and those kinds of things. And so that, again, that's why, you know, training is so important yes. and it makes it easy to do that. Do yeah, well, I was going to say, everybody listening to comment right now, what's, what's a process or, or, you know, an SOP standard operating procedures, what SOP, um, what was a process you're kind of struggling with? And I can't figure out how to, to implement this or, or to get it from my head, you know, down, down into paper or, or something like train you all. Um, so comment in right now in YouTube or wherever you're watching. One of the things that I love um, too, because we were talking about making changes to a process, again, and back to the manual, if there was paper and all that, what a pain it was. The thing about trainual, you make one change, right? Um, to whatever process it is, doesn't matter. You make the change and then anyone within your organization that has access to that process, right? Because you can set up different levels of who gets access to what sections and, and all that, right? You make one yeah. change, everybody gets alerted that, you know, there's a new process or, or whatever it is within that, that section. And, and then they know there's no printing out of paper. You don't have to try to remember to tell Jim, Joe, Johnny, and Julie all the things, right? It's, it's right there. That's what I love. Yeah, part of so so much of training is the accountability piece. You know, if you write everything down in your business and you've got that paper manual or you've got a three ring binder or you're just telling people, training them on the job, how do you know that they actually, you know, received that knowledge? How do you know that they actually understand it and that they can apply it? And so what we wanted to do was create this kind of graph between the people in the business, the roles that they have in the business, and then what you expect from those roles? What are our best practices so that we can actually track, have they seen the latest version? And like you're saying, when somebody changes a process, which should happen all the time in our businesses, we don't want to be stable, right? We want uh, to be, or, or not stagnant. Right. We want to be innovating. We want to always be improving and not say, oh, this is how we've always done it. No. Right. How do we do it today? How do we do it this week? How are we going to do it in the future? And the way that we do that, the way we enable change is by having a place where we can track it, where we can say, oh, this is the newest way that we do things. Now make sure everyone in the company logs back in, signs off on it, that they understand, okay, I'm up to speed. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, you know, to run the best business, it's not just about this 
low watermark of like barely getting by. It's about always pushing what's the better way to do it. And let's make sure all of our people are operating that way. Exactly. And to correct me if I'm wrong, but if you put a new process out and it goes out to whoever um, has access to that particular section, you'll know if they saw it, right? Yeah. Um, if they logged in and if they haven't, um, but, but I guess more importantly, you know, if they have, and then they don't follow that process, you can then go back and say, um, we did tell you, you did see it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's that, that accountability, that compliance, first of all, it'll bug them until they complete it. So it'll just keep prompting uh -huh. them, whether it's, you know, they're, <laughs> they're on their iPhone or their Android or their browser or their smartwatch or whatever it is, it'll keep telling them there's, there's something new, you better come in and see it. Um, and then if they don't, or, or, or like you said, if they do, you can see the time and date stamp that they went through that material. And so let's say you've got a performance issue or you've got, you know, have to have a tough conversation with someone, you can go back and say, oh yeah, on this day at this time, you went through the training material. So I did communicate it to you because mm -hmm. so much of holding our people accountable and, you know, managing performance is, is on us. Did we communicate the expectation correctly? Did we give people the right instructions? Because people can say, I didn't know. And right. part of what our system enables is for you to close that gap and say, okay, I have a way to distribute this knowledge to you. And then I can confirm that you did in fact go through it. Exactly. exactly. I, I love that. Right. And well, that on the flip side of that mm -hmm. is the actual fear. And I, I know you've, you've seen this, Chris, who, you know, with, you know, of, you know, whether it's, you know, plumbing entrepreneurs or whatever home service entrepreneurs, you know, they start the business, they're great at what they do, right? So we're, we're great plumbers. So we decide we're going to start this plumbing business and we get into it. And, and our fear that we have is no one can do things as good as I can. Yeah. Or will they yeah. do it? Will they do it like I want it to have right. done? So what happens is we start, you know, self sabotaging ourselves. We won't allow the business to grow. It could grow, but we're trying to control things. Because we feel like we have to be on top of everything ourselves, which then also leads to the other aspect we talk about. We, you know, we're trying to create the freedom lifestyle where, you know, uh, we, we're not working, you know, in our business, but we're able to work on our business and have more free time for ourselves. Um, but we, they find that, you know, they wind up working more owning their own business than when they were actually, you know, turning a wrench themselves. Right. You know, yeah. oh, so I could talk about this forever. It's yeah. like, go ahead. You know, the, <laughs> it's, it's. It's stressful, you know, when when you have done it for so long and you've got your standard and you think no one can do it as well as I do it. No one can get the kind of reviews. No one can make the customers as happy. No one can right. have the same rapport with them. No one's going to be as efficient as me. You know, we put those stories in our heads because that those are the stories that caused us to start our own business. You know, those are the stories that gave us the confidence to start building something, but then we don't let them go. And we think forever that we're the best at everything. <laughs> and the reality is once you can put people in those seats and trust them with the responsibility of doing some part of your business, things get done better than the way that we used to do them. Mm -hmm. And it lets us move on to the more important stuff in the business. And so, you know, growing a business is all about like, it's like cells dividing, you know, you add new people to your team, they take on new responsibilities, you you let them thrive and grow, and then you keep leveling up and do different things that are more important for growing the business. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. Um, you know, well, let me okay, I, go ahead. finish the thought here. All right. Sweetheart. Go ahead. I, I, you know, we, we have, um, you know, we work on um, with our clients to create their own flat rate pricing. Um, you know, we call it flat rate taskmaster so that, you know, and what that it, it's a kind of a, it's, it's a difficult process in the sense that we, you know, we, we have the, the, the plumbing entrepreneur take everything that's up in their head to do the job and put it down into a system so that their guys can go out and charge what you'd want them to charge. Right. Well, what train you, I love about train you, it's, it's a very similar kind of a thing instead of charging what you want to charge for the different jobs, it's taking the way that we want to behave right. and, and, and actually do the job um, or service, you know, serve the customer, but you it allows you to take everything that's up here and put it down into a system. Right. So now they can, you know, your people can know, okay, not only just what, 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 this is what we charge. Okay. And, um, but this is how we actually, you know, serve our customer. Right. 
you know, get it out of your head. Right. One thing that we, yeah, we one, teach, one of our, Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Chris. One of our uh, tag taglines or our t- trademarks is get your business out of your brain. And I find oh, that resonates with people. Good. You know, it's, it's so, yes. it's so simple, but it's like, yeah, everything about the company is just stuck up here. <gasps> and if you can unlock that, if you can create it in some tangible thing that you can hand someone else, it's actually amazing and satisfying to see somebody else do that work and do it well. Mm. It, it's like a burden off of our shoulders. And then you don't have to watch so closely anymore. You know, if, yes. if you delegate to someone and then and you see them thrive, you're like, wow, I don't even have to focus on that thing. And it's freeing as a, as a business owner. Man, that's a great tagline. And I know that it's going to resonate with every single plumbing business owners that's watching because that's the thing because they're they're whole retaining trying to retain all this information right and so then then you you can't you it's impossible right, right. so you are going to forget things you are going to um neglect some things it's, it's just that's how it is which doesn't allow you to even grow by trying right. to retain it by keeping it to yourself mm-hmm. it doesn't allow you to grow right and so yeah. again train you you know i love that right? it gets it out of your head and this is how we're going to serve serve the customer mm-hmm. and in a Another beautiful thing, I you know, Tranio is so robust. I mean, you can do so much. We have clients that have like gone extreme with it, where there's <laughs> videos and everything. But and I'm just gonna say <laughs> one person's name, DW. DW. Still watching. Right. You know he's who I'm probably, talking about. Yes. <laughs> um, love that guy, and he's just, he's just he's just great at that kind of stuff. And so all his SOPs and his training and everything is, you know, I mean, it is. I mean, he's used videos and and Tranio. He's your poster boy. Right. He's your. I'm just saying. And, and Tranio, <laughs> you can do that. I don't want to scare the other guys because <laughs> I'm I'm this other guy. <laughs> it that Tranio allows you to even take what's in your head, and you can just simple bill up, you know, bu- uh, bill up point it, bill up point, bill up point it out. Point mm-hmm. out. You know, it's. It, you can you make it as simple as, right. as you want. And then yeah. as you get more comfortable and you know you get you, more you, complex. You, right, you can add those kinds of things. One of the but, things that we tell our um clients from the beginning, because they're like SOPs, all, all these procedures, oh what all do I do, right? <laughs> one of the first things we say is um hiring someone, right? What's the process for hiring a technician? Because you may or may not have done it before. So your first one, if this is your first technician, think of all the things you want that technician to know because he's your mini me. For now, right? Not yeah. only how to train, what what to do in the field, but when he comes on, when you hire him, what did you have to do to to get him? Did you place ads? Um, when he comes on, what are all the things that you need to know when a new employee starts? You know, you need to have him fill out all the necessary employment forms, which can be in train you. You want him to um, know what the uniform code is. You want them them to know what you know, certain processes. Um, what are, what are the things you need to give him? A truck a phone, an iPad, you need to have him log in, you know, get the login information for service site or field pulse or whoever you're using. I mean, there's, there's so many things that you don't think about until it's time to do it. So you hire your first guy and you're kind of scrambling, getting it all done. And then business is growing. So now I hired my second guy and you go, Oh, crud. What, what all do I need to do? I, I don't remember all <laughs> right. the things I need to right. do. Right. So, and you're going to forget something and you're going to look not organized to the second new employee. So really encourage all you guys, man, your very first one, don't you just start writing little notes for now. What are all the things that I need to do? And then that's the information that goes into train you. And like Richard said, it doesn't have to be big and complex to start out just something in there um, that you, you know, you want to teach them for them to be able to see and, and sign off on. So I love that you said that because whether you're using a system like ours or not hiring that first person or hiring anybody, that next person, that person is a great asset for building all your training. You can even assign it to them as part of their first oh, week or their good. first couple yes. weeks. You know, you say, hey, I don't really have a training program, but I want to create one. And can you, as part of your role here, or I'll pay you a little extra or whatever, write down all the things you're learning, you know, just the bullet oh, points, the every, Chris, every new thing that I'm good. teaching you, because then you've got somebody else that's brand new at this. That's just kind of collecting information about the business. And you use that outline to start to build your training. You know, what you could also do, okay, we're on a roll here. What you could also do is um, a week later, a month later. Okay. What were some of the things that you wish you would have known the first week you were here? What are exactly. some things that yeah. I missed um, after a month? Okay. What are some of the things that now you've been here for a while, a new guy, um, really should know that you didn't know after a month. So yeah, that's good. Very, right. very first guy. I love that. And good. what that ultimately leads to, gang, is that you want to be, as we see our, our client, we just we had one of our clients who said they were on, on a trip and they had people being hired while they were gone. You know, yeah. right. well, to, to their process right. that they were using through train you. So mm-hmm. someone else, you know, the you know, the the office manager or the CSR or, or whoever you have there, you know, is just saying, you know, here. 
Here's the, here's the playbook. Yep. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my million dollar plumber blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your million dollar plumber blueprint now and it's free. I give to you for simply being a potty talk listener. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free plumb like a champion. Okay. Yeah. What you want to do is, is, you know, in, in business, we explain things over and over and over again. We answer the same questions over and yes. over. Every time we bring someone in, we're saying the same thing. We're telling the same story. And so the more that you can package that up and say, I've got this foundation of knowledge that everyone needs to know the easier it is, the more automatic it is to bring in that next person. And especially mm -hmm. if you've got any sort of turnover, you you may have people coming in and out of the business. You know, if you've got an intern, if you've got a, uh, you know, just, just if you're growing quickly, you're telling that story over and over. So you just want to explain it once. You know, yes. if I can explain it in a place that is repeatable, I, I can direct people to that place. And eventually what you could do, you know, we get a few guys on and you're feeling more comfortable. Um, you know, in the beginning, when, when someone comes on, you want to, um, um, explain to them the culture and some of the expectations of, and the purpose for your business, just make a video, right? Cause yeah. do, do you want to do that for every plumber? You know, you get 10 trucks and you just haven't just interviewed and hired 10 guys. You've probably interviewed and hired a hundred guys to be able to get that right. So you don't want to have to keep repeating that story. So those types of things, just make a video. Doesn't have to be all perfect and lighted and all the things right about yeah. your culture and what your heart is for your business and for your employees and for your community. So, yeah, I bet some people are listening to this and thinking, oh, this sounds like a lot of work. You know, mm -hmm. documentation is daunting, but it's easier if you can just use different media formats. If you can just fire up your camera and record a video and you're just speaking to the video like we're speaking, it's mm -hmm. it's like, you know, for five minutes, tell me about the story of why you started this business and why the culture is important and, you know, how, how everybody gets along, what's special about your company. And then you just, you record that video. It doesn't have to be perfect. You stutter through words, you start over, but it's like, it's the same as explaining things to people in person. And so mm, we put exactly. this crazy pressure on ourselves that we're producing some sort of like, you know, masterclass course or something. Right. It's like, no, you're just, you're a person talking to other people. And if you can just at least package it, record it and just give it to people. You're doing them a service. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be perfect. Right. Be real. Right. right. And what yeah. I love about Tranual, it makes it, <laughs> it makes it easy to start um, and to grow with. It's not. And when things change, it's not a big, you know, big ordeal. Like I, like I explained, you know, when, you know, the lovely Laura here, being a, a systems goddess and manual, oh, we had manuals, gosh, we had manuals for everything. But, <laughs> I but if I, if I so made, wanted to make one change they in were the training coded. process or whatever, you know, everyone had the manuals. And yeah. so we had to make, we had to actually reprint and redo every, you know, everything. Print and well, laminate, training. send them all out. Oh. I, same. <laughs> Same with yeah. my video company. It was like everything, it's some, something would change. And we'd be like, oh, we got to relaminate 50 of these sheets and put them in all our kits. And our kits are in the field. So we got to wait right. till they come back. And then people are like doing things differently in the in the meantime. And so, yeah, this it makes it so much easier when things are just live updated and people can pull it up on their iPad and see the newest version. Right. Exactly. And, it's, and it's beautiful. And you can start simple. Mm -hmm. and, yes. what I, and what I'm trying to, you know, you know, give an example. So it's like with, you know, as plumbers, when we're, we're tooling up, when we're first starting, we're tooling up or, you know, parting up our trucks. We just start with the basics. What are the basic tools that I need to get going and in the parts? And we have those. And then as we grow, as we get more experience, then we it's, you know, oh, I need this tool. This tool will make things happen quicker or is more clear, you know, and, and training allows you to do that. So you just need the basic, get your basic tools in there, the basic bullet points, you know, one, two, three, maybe a four and a five. And then as you get, get more, you know, oh, I, I can do a video for this. So I need to explain this more. It's easy to add those things in. It's right. beautiful. It's a, it's a no brainer. Right. You don't have to start out with everything all done. I mean, I know that's right. Seems That's the fear. That's the fear. Right. right. And yeah. if you're a plumbing power couple and Chris, you don't know a plumbing power couple, a PPC is a husband and wife who own a plumbing business. We call them plumbing power couples. Um, so if your wife is in the business, um, and she doesn't know some of the processes that need to be done, you know, work together, let, let the husband pace around and move. Cause more than likely he thinks and moves at the same time you sit at the computer, right. And just say, just brain dump, right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do it ugly first. 
do it ugly first. I think it was Roy Vaden always says that. Do it ugly first. Throw it out there. And then wife later go in and clean it up and, you know, bullet point and add some images or whatever needs to be there. But get it out of the, the plumbing business owner's head, the guy, and then you go make it look better. So I love um, that PPC. My my wife worked at my uh, video sales table too back in the day. So we were uh, we were a a, a VCC a VPC yeah. video power couple. <laughs> <laughs> we also call them couplepreneurs. So oh, cool. we're a couplepreneur. Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Any other questions? Well, no. I I use the word uh, playbook, and I know. Yes. Chris has Chris has oh, a book. Oh, that's true. Yes, with the word playbook in it, mm -hmm. and so I I, I want a best selling book actually. I want to push let's, your book. Let's be clear. Thank okay. you. There it is. Thank you. Okay, so, so people that are listening, it's called. So it's called the business playbook: how to document and delegate what you do, so your company can grow beyond you. And <sighs> the the idea is is pretty simple. It's it's that you know we didn't get into business to to have a, a really hard job forever. We got into yeah. <laughs> business to build an asset, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And any kind of asset, any big thing that you buy typically comes with an instruction manual. And so mm -hmm. your playbook is just the instruction manual for your business. It's how is everything supposed to work? You know, if you dream of selling your company one day, it's really important that they know how everything works and who does what and how you've gotten to this point of success. And that's what your, your manual shows you. So we say playbook. It's a really simple framework mm -hmm. that encompasses all the knowledge knowledge in your company. So I break it down into four things. First is your company's profile. This is like your culture, your story, your history. It's your mission and vision and values and all the things that make you unique as a business. It's the the market you serve, the specific you know, services that you offer, the the best customer that you work with. It's like what every single person needs to know when they join the business. Then next is your, um, your people section. So the people in our businesses make them very unique, right? We've got different roles and responsibilities. We've got different stories, different backgrounds, different, you know, contact information. And, and so in the app and in the book, we describe how to, how to break all that down. So your people get to know each other. The next section is your policies. So this is our, our rules, you know, the things that we get to decide in the business, like how often do we pay people and what vacations are off and, you know, what's the dress code or what, what do we wear? Or how do we interact with each other outside of work? Those things go in, in the policy section and then processes. And those are the step-by-step -step SOPs, the sequences, the how-tos of your business. And so again, it's back to that kind of worksheet methodology where we want to give you a framework to fill out something that's easy that you can just answer these questions and start to patch patch by patch or brick by brick uh, build what your business is is what the playbook is all about. Uh -huh. Love that. Okay, so the name of the book again is The Business Playbook. The Business Playbook. Okay, they can get it where you can get it Amazon, Target and all the places. any anywhere okay. books are sold or you can go to thebusinessplaybook.com. Okay. All right. And I hey, to say and if that. you're um, a Success Academy apprentice, journeyman, or master member, I'm going to make this required reading. Uh, okay. Yeah, you got it. You got to read this book. Action item. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's an audio. You have an audio form. Probably yeah. Should, yeah. Okay. It's on okay. Audible. All right. So I guys, actually you can did listen the recording to too. So oh, it's uh, okay. It's, it's, one thing I didn't delegate, I wanted it to be my voice because yeah. I like oh, when I listen. It's always listen better. To it's better. Yeah. I like that. Totally agree. Chris. More emotion Good there, the right yes. kind of emotion. Mm -hmm. So guys, hey, I, I know I when I was in the truck, I love listening to audio books. And to this day, I, I prefer audio than, than reading. Um, so, but I'm going to make it required reading because yes. this is the stuff you got to know. This is important. Yes. You know? yeah, um, so. so a couple of things on that. Um, the val If you plan on selling your business and any business all businesses should be set up to sell. Whether you sell it or not, they all should be set up to sell. The value that you will have, um, that your business will have, having oh. something um, like Trainual, all the systems in place, because then a new owner can come in, um, for one, that you don't have to spend so much time with them after the sale because the systems are there, right? Um, but there's value. So they, they already know how the business itself operates, as opposed to a bunch of sticky notes kind of all over the computer or gee, Sally's she's been with us for oh about 20 years. She she pretty much knows everything, right? There's there's no value in that. So that does increase the value of your business for sure. Right. Big time, big time. Yeah. We do a lot of work with business brokers and exit planners, and it's it's such an asset to have the manual for your business. First, when you're trying to market it for sale, you know, if you market a business for sale and you say, 
all of our systems and processes and our whole playbook and all the knowledge of the company is dialed in and people have an automated training program when we hire new people. Think of what that does to the buyer's confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, so you get more top of funnel interest in people buying your business because it takes away that risk. The biggest element of risk is will I be able to operate this business in the same way that the old owner operated exactly. the business? And exactly. if you've got the playbook, you've got it. And so it also can reduce your, your earnout, you know, or having to stick around for a long time. If you, if, if you can just step out because the business runs itself, then you're going to get a, a higher multiple. You're going to get a, nice. less of a earnout, less of a period. And all that it has like a compounding effect. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Service Titan. Service Titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for home service businesses looking to improve efficiency and profitability. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. Absolutely. All oh, right. We, we've totally we've just seen it with a couple of our clients yes. mm -hmm. who, you know, by the way, we're just, uh, just a little over two and a half years ago, you know, we're in a truck and broke and just recently sold their, their plumbing business for multiple millions. Mm -hmm. All right. And one of the reasons to into a big, you know, you know, real money, right. the, the real buyers, right. right. The, the, um, and one of the reasons is because they were systemized, systemized. like this. Their branding, yeah, but systems right. as well. And all that. So yep. it's it's very, very, very important. So I want to encourage um, plumbing power couples, guys, get the book um, and then take a, a day, take a day away. When, I know we, we preach planning meetings, once a week planning meetings, but take a whole day away and really go through the book and just start thinking about what are the things that, um, what are the processes that need to be put in play for the business? And guys, plumbers, I get it. You, that's the last thing you want to do. By certainly utilize your your spouse if if at all possible, um, but take that time, um, because that's that's investing for later time to be away. I know we hear it all the time. How well, there's no way we can take time off. We can't be gone for a week. Well, the reason you can't be gone for a week is because you don't have systems in place to allow other people to run the business while you are having um, enjoying the freedom lifestyle. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. Love so, that. get yes. Tranual. All right. And you can get Tranual. We'll have through. a link. We have a link here. We do right. have a link. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, they'll be putting that in. And, Probably, yeah, it'll be in the comments or somewhere. And certainly anyone who's in the Success Academy or our clients, you should have Tranual. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. It, it's a done deal. Um, but if you're not uh, if you're not in the Success Academy, why not? I don't know. That's <laughs> but, just dumb. Even if you're not in the Success Academy, you know, and you're you're serious about growing your plumbing business, all right? Um, and creating a, you know, successful, self-sustaining and very profitable asset. That eventually you can even, you know, sell, sell one day, mm -hmm. or even if you don't, you know, not looking to sell, but you just want to be able to get away, have yeah. it, have it be able to run without you self-sustaining, right? You need Tranual. And so it's, it's a no brainer. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't normally push things, Chris. We don't normally fall on a, you know, mm -hmm. I, I got a little bit of a man crush here on, on Chris because <laughs> first of all, I, I, I love creators, but I love what he's created. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And this is something that, that really makes it possible um, force achieve the success that we truly desire with for, our plumbing business. Yeah, for these small plumbing business owners, right. that's um, hopefully you know the, our our audience knows that's our heart is right. for this husband and wife to to that own their plumbing business that want to grow it and you know are struggling trying to figure out all the things that need to be done. That's why we bring on things like Tranual and Service Titan and Field Pulse and those types of things, Kick Charge, um, to help them. Um, work, the help that we didn't have, you know, back in two thousand when we started yeah. our plumbing business. So yeah, love that. Right. So, all right, brother. Hey, before I let you go I here, really mm -hmm. appreciate your time. Okay. But, but I, as I said, I got to get, you know, as you shared here, you've been around the block a time or two with I business don't know. He looks pretty young. and you, you, I deal, don't you deal with a lot of businesses. All right. <laughs> Could you please get, uh, drop a nugget of gold or some, some kind of a, you know, piece of advice for our, our young business owners? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we've talked a lot about delegation you know, all of us at any stage in business have dozens of responsibilities on our plate at any given time, but I think we don't have the self-awareness to step back and look at what all of them are that often. And one of the tricks that I started getting in the habit of doing years and years ago is every quarter sitting down and figuring out what all of my current responsibilities are and committing to at least taking one off my plate every quarter. Because if you can do that, then every year, that's four fewer things that you're doing in the weeds of the business. 
And year over year over year, you look back and say, wow, how did I get here? It's because you empowered other people and because you took things off your plate. So really simple uh, action that I would leave people with is write down everything you're doing today and commit to at least <laughs> dropping one thing a quarter. You'll be amazed with the results. Love that. Oh. Um, and guys, that's a planning meeting thing. All right. So you guys, when you have your planning meeting, go and think, okay, what are all the things you do? And part of it, you think, gosh, I do so much, but what exactly do I do? Right. Try, right. So you have to take the time. It can't be something in between jobs or at night when you guys are laying in bed or whatever. It has to be a time where you really dedicate to, to list out all of the things. And I think you'll be surprised um, how many pieces of paper or how, you know, paper, whatever, how, ma how much you really do have. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's great advice, Chris. I love great it. Advice. Huge mm -hmm. nugget of gold there for you guys. Yes. All right, Chris. Hey, man, I really appreciate you taking the time and being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Love yeah, it. Yeah, this this was fun. I'm I I consider myself an amateur plumber because I have two young children that throw stuff in the toilet. <laughs> um, but <laughs> but hopefully my my process knowledge is is uh is a bit more uh, professional and that and and everyone listening got a few takeaways. No, it's, well, it's, your, it's customers like you that put our kids through college. So yes. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. Look forward to talking with you again. Thanks so, so much, Chris. Thanks again. All right. I love that conversation. I love processes and systems. Yeah. I love them so I, much. I no, you do. <laughs> well, I, I don't love the processes and all that kind of stuff, but I love Tranual because yeah. it makes it easy for a guy mm -hmm. like me to be able to put that stuff together. Guys, it's it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd certainly go check him out. And then also his book. I think his book um, will help yes. you kind of get in that frame of mind of why it's important. Again, you may have just started your plumbing business. Like, oh, why do I need these, these processes and all the things? Man, start from the beginning because it's much harder to do later, right? right? And you're kind of tripping over yourself later. Well, look, if, you, if you're serious about, you know, having a business, exactly. okay, not just a job. Mm -hmm. And if you're serious about creating a, a business asset that enables you to live a, a life outside of the business, mm -hmm. all right, that we dream of. Yes. And if you're serious about creating a business that, that real money, big money will want to come in and, and buy one day, mm -hmm. you must have these things in place. Right. And Tranual makes it so easy. Well, and know? that's what I want to say too. Again, we, I think we've said it before in other podcasts, you started a plumbing business. So treat it like a business. Stop treating it like a job that you own. Treat it like an actual business. If you're treating it like a job you own, go back and work for someone else because you're, you're just, you're killing yourself and your family. But if you, Amen. if you really do want a business, you have to treat it like a business. Branding is one thing. Having um, CRM and not a CRM, but a scheduling software um, is important. And something like this train role and having the systems and processes in place. Um, it's a must it, if you're going to have a real it's, business. It's a definite must. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just, just the reality, yes. you know, of, of, of having a business. And mm -hmm. so, and I'm, I was serious too, but, for those that are in success Academy, my, mm -hmm. su my success Academy members mm -hmm. and, and even the clients. All right. I want you to grab the book that yeah. is required, required, required reading, reading. you know, yes. his uh, business uh, playbook. Yes. All right. And his and, name's Ron, Chris Ronzio, R O N Z I O. So go find it out on right. Amazon. You've mm -hmm. got, you got to, you got to know the, these yeah. things. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, and you got to get Tranual here. Yeah. So we well, have a what, link. Have a link for mm -hmm. it. But so. it is the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash Tranual. Tranual. T R A I N U A L. All right. Trainual. It's like training and manual together. It's, exactly. All right. It's mm -hmm. cool. All yeah. right. There you hey. go. Mm -hmm. All right. Great stuff there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You may want to go back and listen or watch this again. Yes, for sure. Okay. And mm -hmm. listen and watch between the lines. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> a lot of good stuff there. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, but before I let you go, as always, I'm going to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Hi, everybody.